Welcome to the Miami International Boat Show. I'm here with Chris. Chris, you're a free diver. Tell me what that means. Um, I spearfish, uh, hunting, holding my breath, using no breathing apparatuses, using my lungs. How long can you hold your breath for? Uh, in a pool static, about five minutes and 45 seconds was my longest. My deepest free dive is 160 and change. And so you are, you do charters for yes, diving, free diving, spearfishing? Free dive, spearfishing charters here out of Miami. Um, do a lot of guiding in the Bahamas and some other international locations, but my backyard is here in South Florida and the Bahamas. Okay. So you're talking about doing all this diving. Do you have your own boat you charter out of, or how does yes, that work? Yes, I have a Contender 31T with twin Yamaha 300s. Okay, those Yamaha 300s are really, really great motors for us. Everybody's super happy with them. Um, tell me, do you do your maintenance on them? Yes, ma'am. I do all my own maintenance. Um, I do my 100 hours myself. I leave the 300 hour and like the the belt changes to the actual mechanics. I buy all my parts through Eric's outboards. Um, after long trips, pretty much every trip is about 100 hours. When I go on for a week or two, I have to come home and I do the service. So when I get home, I'll bring the boat home, clean it, remove the cowlings, clean the salt that make, might get in on the bottom, wash it all down, degrease it, begin my service, wipe it down again, and then yama lube the whole motor and get everything nice and clean and ready to go for the next trip. How did you learn how to do that? You get forced to learn how to do things when you're a captain. That's right, especially when you're an international captain. Now, you go all over the whole world diving, have you? Yes, I've done Australia, I've done a lot in the Pacific, I've done Mexico, I've done Costa Rica, uh, I've done Ecuador, I've done the Gulf, Gulf of Mexico, all through the Bahamas, Bermuda, where else? Um, That's a lot. Spent about a month in Australia going up the, the coast, diving the whole way. Um, but predominantly for guided trips, I take people to the Bahamas or out here in South Florida. So if a younger person or somebody that's just new to the sport, they want to get involved in this, they want to get started, how do you recommend they do that? Um, I would recommend taking a free diving class, go to a dive shop and get decent gear to start with. Um, the free diving class really helps. It's more teaching you the safety aspect of it um, and the consequences of being too overconfident in the water, there is some consequences. Just like scuba diving, we have our own safety measures that we have to take in the water. Okay. So what kind of gear do you suggest that somebody that's just starting out, what, it, what should they get? Um, I would look for a low volume mask. I would look for a good set of uh, long fins. You know, scuba diving fins are made because you have the tank and you don't really move around too much. Free diving fins, you need to really translate your kick cycle into the water, so a longer fin helps. Uh, you can start with some plastic fins, and then when you move, you can move up to carbon fins, which are transfer your energy to the water a lot better. That's good. So, how many charters do you do out of this area a year? You think? A lot. Um, <clears throat> pretty much all summer, I'm booked. Uh, I was booked all through New Year's. I'm booked probably like 150 to 200 days a year. That's a lot. That's a lot of hours on your yeah. outboards. I bought them with two, less than 200 hours. I'm about to hit like 1,800. That's great. And I've great. had the boat for less than two years. So why did you choose Yamaha? I've never been left stranded by Yamaha. I run a lot of clients' boats too, so another, another side of my business is, let's say you want to go, you want to learn, I'll jump on your boat and I'll take you. I've had a lot of issues with other brands. Uh, when I went to look for my boat to really take this to the next level, saying, hey, I'm gonna buy the boat and do it myself, I wanted those Yamaha 300s. They're great, they have the torque, they can handle the load. Uh, when we go for a week or two, I gotta bring all the food, drinks, ice for my clients. That's a heavy load. I don't like small, mo small motors that rev fast. Mm -hmm. I like my, my big girls there, they move. I have four live wells, so when I go tuna fishing also, you get six guys, four wells full. You need a motor that's gonna be able to keep up. That's a up. lot of weight, right. Yeah, and the maintenance is very easy on it, and that was, that was key to me. So what about on your international trips? Um, we have so many international buyers here at this boat show. Do you see Yamaha all over the world, or? Yeah, um, through the Caribbean and Central America, you see the Enduros. You see a lot of those. 
the four strokes, I don't really see them too much, but you see uh, basically all the pangas have Everything Yamaha. Yeah, everything's Yamaha. Very good. Well, that is really, really interesting. If you have any other questions here for Chris, he'd be glad to answer them for you. He'll be in the booth for a while. If you have questions about specific maintenance on your outboards, we have plenty of people here who'd be glad to help. Thank you so much. Thank you.